Howdy doody buckaroonies, I am super excited for this video because it is time to nerd out about some gear. Over the last couple months, I've had some stuff show up in the mail that I have been so excited for, and for the last three days or so, I've been up here huddled over my little makeshift workbench, playing around with these and turning them into a new sample library. First up, we have the PWM Malevolent here. It's a monophonic analog synth with two oscillators with different waveforms, a multi-mode filter, and a bunch of these little patch points. I was absolutely dying to get my hands on this thing once I first heard it, and I even got to meet and have a drink with Paul, who is the founder of PWM, at KnobCon this year. These other two things are the Create Audio East Beast and West Pest. They're two very affordable semi-modular synths that are capable of a lot more than you'd think based on their size. The East Beast is sort of similar to the Malevolent. It's a monophonic analog subtractive synth with multiple waveforms, a multi-mode filter, and a bunch of these little patch points. The West Pest, though, is where things really start to get interesting. Unlike the Malevolent and East Beast, this is actually a West Coast synthesizer. Traditional East Coast synthesizers are subtractive synths. You pick a raw waveform and then subtract from it using things like a filter and then shape it with an envelope. West Coast synths, on the other hand, are about additive processes. We pick a basic waveform and then add harmonics to it with all sorts of crazy non-linear processing and wave folding and shaping tools. It sounds really different from what you might be used to getting from other synths, and it's a lot of fun. And I guess that leads us nicely to the big question of the day. Why exactly would you want a semi-modular synth instead of a regular synth? With a normal synthesizer, the routing is fixed and things only go one way. In a basic synth setup, the oscillators go to an amplifier, the amplifier is shaped by an envelope, the amplifier goes to a filter, the filter probably has another envelope, and then the filter goes to the output. What a semi-modular synth lets us do is break these connections and reroute it based on the patch points. So let's say on the Malevolent here we have this patch. Now, that's all well and good, but let's say we want to add some filter FM. Using one of these handy dandy cable patch noodle things, we can actually reroute the signal. So we'll take the output of the second oscillator and route it into one of the FM inputs on the filter here. Then we'll bring up the amount. And we've got our big doomy Mick Gordon Taco Bell diarrhea base. And that's that. And that's what makes semi-modular so cool. All right, for another example, let's say that we have a key patch on the malevolent here. And let's say we want this sound to be a bit more, I don't know, kind of like lo-fi, I guess. So what we might do is bring up some noise. But this really just sounds like we added noise to the patch and didn't really create a lo-fi patch. There's just noise on top of what we just made. So instead, what we could do is take one of our handy dandy patchy noodles here and take the output of the noise and then we'll bring that into the FM input of one of the oscillators. So we'll do the first oscillator here. Now we'll start increasing the amount. And we get some really interesting chaos. But you can hear it gets a little bit out of control really quickly, and that's because this is full broadband noise. So what we might want to do to make that a bit more effective is filter the noise. However, we can't route the noise to the filter and then back out and then back through itself. That's just not going to happen here. And that is where semi-modular systems come in. To accomplish this, what we could do is change this connection here. So I'm going to take the noise out and I'm going to patch that to the filter input of the East Beast here. Now the noise is gonna run through this filter, so now we need to get it back. So we'll take another patch noodle here, grab the output of the filter, 
And then we're going to take that filtered noise and put it back into our FM input. Let's change this filter to be something like a bandpass with a fair amount of resonance. I'm just going to crank the modulation here. And we'll adjust the cutoff point. Just to find something that's a bit more useful and crusty there. Let's bring that back. And now we've got some interesting chaotic warble going on. Now, let's say to add a bit more fun here, we want to bring in another layer of something using the West Pest to create another oscillator. So right now, as you could probably tell, the Malevolent and the West Pest are not communicating whatsoever. It's sort of like me and my wife after I said the new Taylor Swift album sucked. So we need to bridge the gap and offer an olive branch here to get everyone on the same terms. Sort of like how I had to buy my wife ice cream at the store and beg for forgiveness and ask her to show me the way of the true Swifty. But that's neither here nor there. Anyways, what we need to do is first get the output of the West Pest into the Malevolent here. So we're going to use the aux input on the mixer, grab the output of the West Pest, bring that in, and now I should be able to play the West Pest and hear it through the Malevolent. We just hold down a key. Cool. So now we need to get them to work together. This is easy enough to do, so what we first need to do is take the output of the pitch on the keys here, bring that to the pitch input of the West Pest so it knows what note to play, and now we need to tell it when to play a note. So we'll take another patch noodle here, grab the gate output of the Malevolent, which is going to trigger the envelope, and feed that into the Dynamics gate of the West Pest. Now I should be able to bring up some fold here, play a note, and turn down these oscillators. And we have our West Pest. Let's give that a quick play. Let's maybe bring it down a couple octaves on the keyboard. Cool. Let's turn off the fold mod, blend in our oscillators. Controlling the noise modulation here. And we've created a new patch using this whole semi-modular setup. With a few handy patch noodles to spare. I really wanted to try and capture the sound of these synths and some of the patches I've made in the last few days and convert it into a decent sampler library to use for my own projects and of course to share with everyone else because these sound awesome and who doesn't like cool sounds? But I figured to spice things up just a bit more, I would bring in some of my favorite effects to enhance the sounds of these synths. The first thing I grabbed is the Empress Effects Euro Bureau. The Euro Bureau is great for adding distortion and other really complex processing chains because it's actually a self-contained semi-modular system. It even has CV patch points of its own that you can interface with these synths, so this is like adding another semi-modular system onto this already semi-modular system. Of course, it's also got a ton of other great effects from Empress, like filters, delays, choruses, reverbs, and a bunch of other stuff. The Empress Reverb, on the other hand, is a beautiful sounding reverb pedal with a ton of different reverb algorithms. It's great for adding some space and room to keys, or creating massive ambient textures and drones. The Ghost Verb algorithm in particular, I think, sounds unreal. The Hologram Microcosm doesn't really need an introduction, I suppose. It's an amazing buffer mangling pedal with a gorgeous reverb on board, which is great for adding interesting glitches and granular textures, or turning just about anything into an amazing ambient soundscape. So I spent the last couple days sampling some of my favorite patches from these sessions, and I converted it all into a new decent sampler instrument called Malevolence, which is available with the link right down there. As usual, I made a free version that you can go play with, and there is a paid version as well if you want more of the sounds.
I recorded each patch with two different variations, a soft and a loud version, which you can fade between with the dynamics knob. I also added in a couple of extra controls like effects, the main envelope, and a filter. With this library, I really wanted to try and capture the gritty, raw sound of analog with that modern cinematic edge, and I'm actually really happy with how these patches turned out. Of course, as usual, I would love to hear what you make with this library, but I did want to mention really quick that if you use it and you want to submit it as a demo track, you can submit it on PianoBook, and that can be used as one of the official demos for the library. So, that is the story of Malevolence, my new library for the free Decent Sampler plugin. A huge, huge, huge thank you to, let's see if I can do this in one take here, PWM, Voltage & Company, Empress Effects, Hologram Electronics, Create Audio, and the one and only David Hillowitz for making this library possible. I'm really excited to show you what I've been working on for my next release, but I think that's a story for another time. Until then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And of course, as always, I hope this inspires you to get out there and make something awesome.